Hi everybody, I'm Lex from Dead Gentry. And I'm William. And that's William. And this is the Lodi haul. That's what people call it. They want haul videos. They want to see what it is, when it's made, what it's worth, what we pick up for the shop and why. So we're going to do that. We're going to tell you. I'm going to set this down on this piece here. Awesome. Maybe a little, little kitsch ceramic vase. That has value. It does. You might not think it, but it does. Absolutely. So 10 to $15? Yeah. So 10 to $15 for something like that in handmade. Oh, cut on my finger. Look. Oh, no. oh, boo boo. It's all those bar fights you get into. I mean, so many bar yeah. fights. <laughs> it happens. People talk bad about things last. You're like, yeah, they're defending. I'm getting my fingers like I'm feeling self-conscious because they're so close to the camera. I'm a little dehydrated too. It's so windy here today. It's super windy. So 10 to $15 ceramic. That has value. People are always asking, what is value? That has value. Absolutely. Silk scarves. You want to tell people about the beautiful silk scarves. Look at this one. Yeah. So... We look for, for silk scars. This one, I think, is a, a silk blend. Yeah. High think, silk content. Yeah. I can tell. High silk content. Beautiful kind of watercolor pastel looking. Um, that one's a, a skinnier version. It's very pretty. Yeah. Do the little cashmere test on it. Right. See that? It's just a ring right off my finger. It goes right through smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> so, put my ring back on. Silk. 100% silk worth more. Silk blend worth a little less, but still quite a bit. Polyester, polyester bad, cashmere good, cashmere yeah. good, polyester bad, rayon bad, china bad. As far as, far, <laughs> yeah, as, far as worth, right? Here's uh, this, this one. Was a great, great find, great piece today. Um, hundred percent silk, and it's made by Oscar De La Renta. And we have the what are the corner tags called? Yeah, it's called corner the corner tag. tag. See how tiny the stitches is. This is why you usually don't find them with the corner tags in place because it's just a tiny little delicate stitch left on there so that you can Easy remove the tag. Yeah, and then this one's also stamp signed in the original art print. You can see it's the same color as the dye used on the scarf here. So that one's easy to authenticate. Right. And this is a beautiful scarf, but um, they, they aren't always like that. So obviously if you, if you have provenance and, and you have the tags and all that, that's great. That helps. That makes it worth quite a bit more. But if you don't, 100% silk scarf is still worth money. Yeah. So here's another one. Beautiful one. Ready? Show people. Show, yeah, show the people That effect the is called the blind, blinding effect. Uh, yeah, I like the blinds. Blind when effect. It's got these columns. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah, I, I love shot through columns like that. But that's that's my thing. I don't know if that's ever if everyone loves that as much as I do with the heavy borders. Another silk piece, very cool. Are you drinking my tea? That's my tea. What? No, I, I would never drink your you tea. You just drink tea from my teacup. I was testing it to make sure it, uh, it's okay. Here's a pretty one. Portugal. Portugal. Yeah. Good. You knew. You can kind of tell. You, you get a tell. feel. Yeah. yeah. After a while, you can. Tell. So there's an all fair. Um. 15 to 20 dollars closer to halloween yeah closer to thanksgiving right pie plate with the lid um a little bit earlier 1940s worth a little bit more worth double to triple that depending uh buy the halloween things not at halloween yeah christmas halloween you can buy them in april like we do you can oftentimes find better camera. prices and you know there's still a great selection and then you know, we will release our Halloween items are probably September, Christmas items in probably mid-October. Um, so we're kind of... <laughs> Cleaning the table, yeah. sorry. Don't, don't mind us, we're just doing it. Yeah, sorry. you can find Christmas items all year round. I mean, any uh, state sales, because people have a lot of Christmas items for, for logical reasons, so you can find those vintage items at a good price this time of year, and you can you know, store them or sell them later. So it's always what we look for as well. My gothy friends look for Halloween vintage yeah. all year round. All year round. Smart thing to do. Yeah. And I procure pieces for them all year round. Right. So, what about this one? This was William's find. That's a find, yeah. Found it. It's a, um, a cupcake. The um, cut on my finger is so distracting. Yeah. Sorry. Look how cute. Look at the little lollipop sticking off. I, I'm like, I'm talking like I'm in a Willy Wonka <laughs> film just looking at it. It's uh, Fitz and Floyd by um, makers Fitzpatrick and Floyd. So, a uh, company is still in business, still making a lot of nice items. The uh, cookie jars of, of these can be worth upwards of eighty dollars. This one probably twenty to thirty. The rim is like uh, especially in, in good here. condition, like we have here. They have some some beautiful play settings in, in um, 
serving wear also you know it's very pricey but it's a very very cool company very good uh good products we we found this I, just the colors are cool that's why it, it struck me today and it started in the 60s yeah. popular in the 70s still popular holding its value well fits and floyd very cool nativity speaking of christmas because yeah. we're talking about holidays <laughs> look it's the middle of the summer you yeah. go nativity and pumpkin <laughs> handmade ceramic nativity <sighs> but uh yeah good again good time of year no, it's never a bad time of year for Christmas. But. I'm, I'm right, especially whether you're a collector or a reseller right. or a thrifter, um, be buying these things year round, and get you can get them for a little bit less sometimes. Mm -hmm. Further away from the holiday, they're for. Yeah, handmade pieces like that are always a good collector's item. I like them. That one's heavy. It is. Very heavy. I like that it's diminutive. It's very small. Uh, 25 to $30 or something like that. Bigger sets, worth more. Uh, finer porcelain piece, pieces, fine bone china, you know, made in Spain. They can be, they're beautiful nativities with standing figures. So it, it really depends. Materials, size, all, those are all things that can increase value. We've got all these beautiful mugs. Tons of mugs. Tons of mugs. Let's show the people the mugs. This one and what, the red one? The red one. I'm going to sell these together as a pair, I think, on eBay for everybody. It's a cool contrasting colors, but it's kind of similar lip, the off-white. Yeah. Off same color. Well, plus, and it's nice, neither is it signed, mm -hmm. right? They're clearly not made by the same manufacturer, yeah. or this one's clearly handmade, so not the same potter. But they look cool together. They do. And two is better than one. And, and the forms are so different. That's fun. It's playful. Yeah. So I'll put these together. Mugs do well. Mugs, 10 plus. Uh, recently, 20, 20 plus. Yeah. I, I mean. Especially for some of the more vintage ones. Especially, yeah, handmade pieces, yeah. anthropology pieces, Starbucks mugs with. Um, city names. City names, yeah. worth quite a bit of money. Retired, very collectible. So mugs have value. And now you kind of have an evaluation of that. Very cool. We have so many of them on the table. We like mugs. I feel like mugs. You, you, know, you can show them this next mug, but it's mine. <laughs> This is cool. This is very cool. Yeah. This is a weighty. It's a nice one. We had California I like that bear. handle. I, don't know if that's a I can't even bear. put my fingers in there. Look. Bears for like the California flag. It's my thing. I like it. It is neat. Yeah. This is a neat one. Not for sale. My yeah. <laughs> William's claimed it for himself. I can show you something else William has claimed for himself. He will. Yes. <laughs> so these are so the, cool. The, the green and yellow frosted glass mugs, 1940s, 50s. Oh, um, these are super cool. cool pieces we, we found. I today. can't even get them all in the shot. Yeah. Look, I don't want to like. I, I just, might hold the phone for one second. Kind of so just I just want a margarita them. while looking at these. Uh, they make me think of 1940s yeah. coastal California, like Surfside, like Woodies, like yeah. those old cars with the cobalt blue rims and the pontel marks. So this is when pro tip. This, these pontel marks are how you can tell when it's artisanal glass that's handmade. I can't really stick my finger in there when I'm holding the phone. I shouldn't have picked the phone up. Yeah, we can, can you get there? Let me get some of them out of your way. I've got too many things in your way here. show the pontel marks. When there's yeah, a that. One. See that? So this is a softened pontel. Not quite as old. It's been polished. Some of these can be um, very sharp, so you, you need to be careful. But this one's been kind of polished down a bit, which is nice. But that's where they would have broken the glass right off the rod while they were creating the handmade glass, while they were forming the piece. And, and you can tell, because they're not all uniform. These are neat. See, this pontel is totally different. Yep. But these are really cool. Yeah, it's very Blended, frosted glass. Yeah. yeah, so no one will ever get to buy those. William has stolen them from the shop. <laughs> you don't get to have. It happens. What are you gonna do? Uh, what's uh, what else is on the table? We talk about what have we got? Is this Nortaki? Uh, I think that is the sugar bowl. That looks like Canton bamboo pattern. I'm gonna guess Nortaki. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen to twenty, maybe a bit more. More with the creamer. This one has a matching creamer that almost looks like a gravy boat because it's so big. Um, kind of a cool piece. I don't know. What, what what do you think people want or know? Yeah, I mean, you said 60s, 1959, yeah. 1964 for that pattern. Okay. Uh, what did I say? 15 to 20. 15, 20. Yeah, 15 to 30. It depends. It depends. I, I've seen these go for a little bit more and a little bit less. Mm -hmm. But they do sell. So this has value. This is a Noritake piece that has value. 
So there's an evaluation on that one. We go to these estate sales to, for specifically large pieces for our finder's fee patrons. We're looking for large antiques very often, like tall boys and, and lay Italian wood pieces. Paintings. Or huge oil paintings and sterling silver sets. Um, and a lot of the time, when we, whether or not we get those other things, we, we love getting these little things for the shop. That's why we have them all. Yeah, makes it fun. Bomb Brothers, we can talk about this guy. Pretty. So I actually picked this one up Why William wasn't paying attention to get because it reminded me of um, the Encore in Las Vegas. Of those, yeah. the, They have those beautiful uh, mosaics it, it leading into the atrium, which no one now knows what I'm talking about. The, the owner of whom forever loathed in history for sticking his finger through a Van Gogh painting right. one day. <laughs> which every taxi cab driver in Las Vegas will tell you about. But uh, it's a it's a Balm Brothers. This is nice. You know, fine china. Um, you know, $25, maybe a little bit more. Now, if you find a piece by LaCroix that's a teacup with butterflies, and it says LaCroix down here, 300 plus. Wow. So this is a five inch. LaCroix is a little bit bigger. I'm trying to give an idea to people of what to look for. Right. If they're collectors, the difference is. So yeah, a little bit of difference in price range there. Okay. But neat piece, very neat. What else do you wanna talk about? Are we, are we trying to talk about everything in this video? No. <laughs> I'll move this one. Probably not everything, just a lot of things. This is cool. The Alice Wonderland tin. Yeah, it's, it's uh, they're very in right now. And they, you know, they, that one's. Yeah, tins are fatting yeah. right now pretty hard. Like 15, 20 for that? Yeah. <laughs> 15. Yeah, 15. maybe. Yeah, it is a fad right now. Uh, for like, People like um, are using them as hard purses, like right. Z-Jenners. This one's not super old. This one's a, like a World Imports. What's that called? Uh, it's a chain store. World Market. I've seen, World Market. Cost, Cost Plus. Plus. Right. So 90s. Yeah. But it's still, still vintage. Cool piece. Very cool piece. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen dollars, maybe a little bit more. It depends on the day. Depends on the buyers. It is Alice in Wonderland. Now that watercolor set from the you know the made in england that's a little bit older there's a lithograph tin the alice in wonderland tin it's longer because it's like i'm trying to show it with my hands you can't even see my hands but it's like a longer flatter tin it originally held watercolors it's a lithograph okay. of water that's worth 65 to 85. it'll say made in england so that's something people can look for different tin than this yeah. but another type of alice in wonderland tin I'm trying to give the people all the info that they want it's helpful. And all this stuff, like, I'm going to shut the table a little bit again. So all of this beautiful things that we have sourced, that we have procured today, we will, um, because we're just getting the eBay shop going. So I'm going to make a point of trying to put most of these in eBay instead of Etsy for very low, like, buy it now prices right. to kind of get, get it going, like, launch it. Up. Yeah. And maybe, like, very low bid auctions except for the green glasses except for your green glasses <laughs> yeah i'll do like five dollars starting bids so if you happen to be one of the 20 people who watches our channel right now, <laughs> well, we now you've got an yeah, in got you, can, you can rush to ebay yeah. um and i think i said yesterday i was gonna get the stuff in last night and then i fell asleep and now we have even more it happens so maybe don't go look till tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> but um can you give me the angel I can talk a little bit about the ceramic Angel. She's pretty, isn't she? She is. She's an angel. She has the iridescence. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Okay. We don't have a lot of light in here. Oh, you can see it more in her face. The beautiful iridescent glaze on that ceramic. So she's a cutie. Um, yeah, I'm going to say 15 to 30. Again, depends. She's worth a little bit more. In this quality, made of these materials, this little angel comes in a ton of different materials. I have seen her done in everything under the sun. So some materials are better than others, and some quality is better than others. Kind of like other like Hubble, um, Hummel figurines. If you look at the face, see, she has a great face. She has a little smoochy face. It's high quality. It's well done. Some of them have like droopy <laughs> faces. Like they're not, they're not as pretty. I've seen them with gold gilding on the wings. Right. That's pretty as well, but not on an iridescent glaze like this. And the condition is important. This one's in pretty pristine condition. That Very always helps important. the value. Mm -hmm. You don't want cracks or chips or 
Scuffs. And if you're a collector, ask for more pictures. Mm -hmm. If you can't see the back and you want to make sure, they shouldn't hesitate to send you more pictures. We yeah. wouldn't. So that's, you know, yeah, condition, very important. She's pretty. She has a little partner, so you could probably get a little more if you had her little partner. She's like an inch shorter, kind of the same form and design, but she has a little bob haircut. So the estate sale we were at today, she only, they, they only had this one. Yeah. But she was pretty. What's left? Trinket box, diffuser, anchor hawking glass. Yeah, Which, whichever. That's pretty. This is the anchor hawking one. This is the uh, egg plate or deviled egg plate. I want to get a sip of tea, sorry. Yeah. It's got a kind of a teal or a pale blue with the gold accent. It's really kind of striking. Uh, we actually have one similar shape, but uh, it's a kind of a purplish iridescent one that, that's my personal collection that I will not sell again. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's <laughs> yeah, very this, nice. Uh, these are kind of back in, in, in fad or style. Um, Getting to be popular again, you can tell you they're they're just kind of neat pieces, right? You know, they're technically made for eggs, deviled eggs, but um, it's a very they come in oftentimes really pretty colors. It's kind of blue milk glass type color. Very pretty. Very pretty one. Twenty five. That's one of those things that's trending right now. Yeah. You know what else is trending? I think I was telling you about this the other day. It was um, this is kind of information people are always asking me for. Open salt cellars. So salt and pepper shakers kind of went out of style. And now they're kind of like doing okay, like mm -hmm. antique salt and pepper shakers, but open salt cellars. So it's like a tiny little bowl. It almost looks like a, like a sake glass, but like half as tall. Those are doing really well because people are getting back together and doing gourmet salts. Like salt varieties, you can kind of pinch. Right, yeah. yeah. So they want to do all the different salts on right. the table for people, which is kind of neat. So they could just grab it themselves because originally they were made like it was victorian and you each little plate would have its own little open face salt cellar and then there'd be a master cellar so if you're looking to buy say you're thrifting and you find a bunch of little ones there would also be a master larger one if you keep looking around and find a slightly larger bowl that's what that is so everyone at the table when they ran out would refill from the master so that was a victorian area era thing and i see people get that wrong all the time because they don't know what it is right. and they're making a comeback they're doing well they're spiking in value right now. So they're bigger than a thimble, smaller than a uh, sake cup. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay. Absolutely. And I, I do. I think it must be because of, um, you know. The gourmet salts. Yeah, the like pink Himalayan yeah. salts yeah. and the black oceanic right. salts. and. Yeah. So, very cool. And anyway, I was just thinking that because that a double egg plate you said you usually use for double eggs. Yeah, that's what it's made for. You could do salts. Yeah. Okay. You could do different gourmet salts out of plates like that while having a little dinner party, cocktail party. What else can we talk about? The trinket box. We could talk about that. We could talk about the vintage Halloween candlesticks. These are pretty. It's a trinket box. Yeah. There's a grand piano. So this color, that gives you year. That can, that can really help with decade. When it looks vintage... It likely is. Like this kind of yeah. golden brown. It's kind of a cool piece. 1940s, 1950s, you know, 18 to $25. Bigger pieces worth more. Um, this one is Japanese, I'm going to guess. So Chinese reproductions worth less, significantly less. Japanese, okay, but there are even finer ones made with porcelain tops that are not made in Japan. So if this one's worth 20 in any given year, nicer ones, larger pieces. I think we have the grand piano match to this. I think it's in the Etsy shop. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit bigger. It's a music box as well, which is yeah. fun. Trinket boxes are doing really well right now. All sorts of little jewelry boxes and trinket boxes. It's one of those things like Fenton where we can't keep it on the shelves very long. Did we say buy Fenton? Because yeah. buy Fenton. Yeah. <laughs> People always ask me, what should I collect? What should I buy? Oil paintings? Especially if you can get one inexpensively from a talented artist now to hold on to. Yeah. Um, if it's high quality, absolutely. Invest right. in that. Right. Oil paintings. And Fenton. We can't keep it on the shelves right now. No. Any piece of Fenton. It's, it's gone within. Yeah. It's yep. flying. Um, which tells me overall that not as just biking now, but half, after having watched Fenton for about 40 years. Yeah. That it's going to keep going up. yeah it's it, it's a piece that's going to hold value as an antiquity moving forward likely for decades and decades what else i think we've discussed just about everything i think so Most L of the little halloween rooms. candlesticks you'd be looking at it's so funny because i told william i would grab all the things and now he he's on that side of the table so he has to do the work of moving them around from the camera hand painted wood vintage 
$15 each, even if it's not a holiday item, even if you're looking at a vintage wooden candlestick. There, there are some that are much older. You know, if, if you find little, um, the little egg cups made of wood, some of those can be <laughs> worth quite a bit depending on who they're made by. So hand-painted wood, I'd say 15 each on those, yeah. any time of the year. I'm gonna just pick up the, the phone here. So Jim Henson puzzle. $20. There's always people who are going to want something like that. $5 comic books. Th there's quite a few of these. Yeah. Th this one is not super old, nor super desirable, nor... I mean, it's just not super valuable yet. So I would say $5 each if you were trying to figure out a valuation on those. The ones with a Donald Duck where he has his little... They're not his sons. Nephews? His nephews. Huey yeah. Dewey Louie? Huey Dewey Louie, yeah. right. Those tend to be, I just see them, they tend to move faster. They're an easier, collectible. People want to collect them a bit more. But I couldn't find anyone for anyone today. So, okay. That's a pretty good overview, right? Haul video for everybody, just showing all the things. Awesome. These are cute. Let me do, just show people. These are neat, aren't these neat? These are not super old. Card holders? This one's older. This one's not super old. He has a business card holder. Isn't that great? That is. This belongs in a salon. Absolutely. Yeah, this belongs right by the register. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, and there's a shot of my teacup sitting on the table. <laughs> I don't know if my teacup. Um, like and subscribe. Yeah. And I will check out the eBay store if you can. Right. I'll try to get the items in. Yeah. Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And um, you can always contact us as well. Yeah. Facebook, Etsy. William never checks the Facebook. Every day, check Facebook. He doesn't check the Facebook. But Etsy, and then, of course, the new eBay store. Yeah. Go check out the eBay store, because we're just getting it up and running. It's pretty cool. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.